Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is Embark Game Boot Fatal Error. The game has crashed. Exit code is 210. So if you're receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to simply restart. First of all, relaunch the game. If you receive the error message, just close it and then relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, restart Steam. Exit and then restart Steam. If you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, you can close Epic Games Launcher, make a right click and then click on exit and then relaunch. Now, if there is any update available for Epic Games Launcher, you can update your Epic Games Launcher. Once updated, now you can relaunch the game. Now, if that does not work, restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now, wherever you have the game, if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, click on these three dots and then click on manage and then click on this installation folder over here. This will take you to the game installation folder. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click, select manage, click on browse local files. Now make a double click on pioneer game. Try to launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, try running it as an administrator. Make a right click, click on run as administrator and then check. You can even make a double click on start protected game and then launch the game. If that does not work, make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check. Still not working, open this pioneer game. Binary is win64. Select this exe file, make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, make a right click once again, go to properties. This time you can try Windows 8 over here. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try Windows 7 mode over here. Apply, OK, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to Allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security or Windows security, and then click on Windows security over here and virus and threat protection. Scroll down, click on manage ransomware protection, click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, add an allowed app, browse all apps, go to the game installation folder, and wherever the game is installed, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Again, add an allowed app, browser app, and select the second exe file, start allow the second exe file and then open binary game, binaries win64, select this exe file, click on open and then type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, go to system and security, Windows Defender firewall, allow an app or feature through Windows Defender firewall, click on change settings, allow another app, click on browse, go to the game installation folder once again and then select all the exe file one by one in my case i have already added again click on allow another app click on browse select the second exe file click on add again add it allow another app click on browse and then open binary game sorry the binaries folder win64 select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case i have already added now once the games are added over here now you can launch the game and then check do the same thing if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, whichever antivirus program you have, allow all the exe files and then relaunch the game. Next step is to start easy anti-cheat service. Now for this you can type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. And then find easy anti-cheat. Once you find easy anti-cheat, make a right click, click on start or you can click on restart over here. While starting the service, if you receive any kind of error message, just ignore it or make a double click over here, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. If you receive any error, just ignore it, follow the next step. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall Easy anti cheat Now for, for this, you can go to the game installation folder once again and then open installer folder. Here you can see uninstall easy anti cheat make a right click make sure that you run this as an administrator click on yes to allow and now make a right click on install easy anti cheat make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes and then relaunch the game and then check still not working uninstall easy anti cheat make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then launch the game do not install just launch the game during the launch it will install easy anti cheat
If you receive a prompt, just click on yes to allow. Once easy anti-cheat is installed, it should launch the game and then check. Now while installing easy anti-cheat, if you receive any kind of error message, then restart your computer once. Just restart your computer. If you are unable to install easy anti-cheat, restart your computer and then relaunch the game and then check. Let me close the game for now. Now still not working in that case. After the system restart not working, make a racket on the game on Steam, go to properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification launch the game, if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, you can click on verify files over here. Still not working, make a right click, manage browse local files and then open this easy anti-cheat. Make a double click or you can make a right click and then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, you can type in dash DX11. Now relaunch the game and then check launch it check if that does not work then you can type in dash dx12 over here relaunch the game and then check still not working remove this if you have the game on epic games launcher go to epic games launcher go to profile icon click on settings scroll down at the bottom you will see the game put a check on additional command line arguments type in dash dx11 now launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 Launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this uncheck this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to rename the config file. Now when you rename the config file all the saved settings will be lost. To rename the config file you can open file explorer go to this PC open C drive users folder your username folder app data if you don't see app data over here at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder local folder and then open the pioneer game in my case i have renamed this you will see only pioneer game so you can open in my case let me delete this because i've launched it so you will see pioneer games make a right make a double click save folder over here you can see config folder make a right click on config and then you can rename this config folder and then relaunch the game the saved settings will be lost now st still not working you can rename the save game files create a backup first because you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch so you can create a backup first so you can go back again back so go to this location and then you will see pioneer game copy this folder paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder and you have to start everything from scratch now launch the game and then check. <clears throat> Still not working. The next step is to close the game exe in task manager. Sometimes the game is multiple instances of game are running. So make a right click on the start menu, go to task manager. And over here, if you find arc uh, exe file or anything related to arc, you can just make a right click and then you can end the task. So I don't see any arc over here. If you see arc, then end task. So if you see the game exe file over here, end the task and then relaunch the game. Next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have um, if you have Nvidia, go to Nvidia. If you have AMD, go to AMD website. Select your graphic card, select your operating system, click on find. Now on this page, you will see the latest GeForce game ready driver. You can click on view and then you can click on download. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and then click on ok then click on agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next after the clean installation is done restart your computer restart is a must after this after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select this pioneer game exe file, add once the game is added over here. Click on the game, select high performance. And again, add desktop app, open this pioneer game. This is the main exe file. Select this one and then click on add. Once the game is added, now click on the game over here. 
select high performance you will see your graphic card now launch the game still not working disable integrated graphic card now for this if your computer has a dual graphic card make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager expand display adapter here in my case it's intel you can make a right click and disable the integrated graphic card and then relaunch the game once you are done playing the game you can enable you can make a right click and enable the device once again now the next step is to roll back graphics driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working in that case once you select your graphic card your operating system on this page click on view more versions and you can roll back to the older version and check and when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next uh, and after that make sure that you restart your computer and then check next step is to use intel driver and support assistant so you can install this you can go to intel website and the, you can download this intel driver and support assistant in my case i already have it installed you can launch it it will scan your computer and if there is any update you can download it install it and then relaunch the game now the next step is to launch the game from nvidia app so if you have nvidia app installed in your computer you can launch nvidia app if not installed you can install it and if you have nvidia card then once you install it over here you will see the game over here or you can click on graphics and then uh, you can cl click on play over here try to launch the game from here if that does not work you can go to settings and then you can even go to graphics and then select arc radius over here and once you select the game over here at the right hand side you will see optimize option in my case uh, it's not there but once you select arc radius over here if you see optimize option like this you can optimize it and if it is already optimized you can revert the optimization and then relaunch the game and then check you can close the uh, nvidia app and then relaunch the game now try debug mode now for this you can go to desktop make a racking the desktop go to show more option and then go to nvidia control panel and then over here you will see the help option select debug mode so if debug, debug mode is unchecked you can put a check on debug mode relaunch the game and then check still not working restore the nvidia settings now for this you can go to manage 3d settings go to global settings click on restore click on yes at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply over here once applied relaunch the game and then check now still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in window search box and then click on control panel click on hardware and sound and then go to power options in my case i have only balanced but in your case if you see power saver like this you can select power saver and then relaunch the game you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then relaunch the game now still not working the next step is to enable or disable hardware accelerated gps scheduling now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then go to advanced graphic settings over here if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on now relaunch the game and then check if it is already on you can turn it off relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right in the game go to properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files if you have the game on epic games launcher you can click on these three dots manage and then click on verify once the verification is done launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file for this you can open this link in a browser the link is provided in the video description here you can see visual studio files scroll down download this x86 and x64 you have to install both the files so click on it and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see repair click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to enable or disable nvidia uh, sorry steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then relaunch the game if this is already off you can turn it on and then check close all other overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings and turn off this nvidia overlay turn it off close nvidia app and then launch the game so close all the overlay application do not overclock if you have overclock set it to default 
close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI afterburner, Reva tuner, any kind of third party application, any kind of third party anti cheat program. So close all the third party application on EMPL. And the next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate. So suppose this is just an example. If your monitor refresh rate is 240 Hz, you can try 120 Hz or maybe 60 Hz and then relaunch the game. And you can even go to system in Windows settings and then go to display and then go to advanced display. And then you can set it to 60 Hz, relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here. And then under advanced click on settings, the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here. You have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size. And we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte. For initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5. That is 24576. For maximum size, it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024. In my case, 16384 me megabyte, then 3 times multiplied 3. That is for maximum size, it's 49152 in my case. And then you have to click on set. Set is important. Make sure that you hit set and then click on OK and then OK. OK, now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work. Then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings. Go to settings over here. Click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set. Set is important. Click on OK. Click on OK over here. Hit apply. Click on OK. OK, you will see restart option, restart your computer and then check. Still not working, we will revert to default. So you can type in view advanced system settings once again. Settings, advanced, change, and put a check on this box and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now still not working, the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important, so open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update in Security, and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed, then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this, and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step, you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, you can try window mode. Switch to window mode, press Alt plus Enter on the keyboard, lower down video settings, and then check. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected when you update the BIOS. The next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disconnect external keyboard or mouse like if you have key crone or razor huntsman keyboard connected, disconnected. Disconnect any kind of dongle. Close all the third party application. If you have undervolted the computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.